In this problem, we're asked to match a system of differential equations to the correct slope field below. We could create a table of points x comma y, then determine x prime and y prime in which each vector in the vector field has an x component of x prime and a y component of y prime. We would then probably want to scale each vector by some constant. The result would be the slope field for each system. However, it's more common to use technology. In this lesson, we'll use the above face portrait plotter to show the slope field, as well as several trajectories or solutions that form a face portrait. Going to the website, by default we have x prime equals 0.5x and y prime equals sine x, and we have several settings we can change below to change the format of the slope field. If we click graph phase plane, we get the corresponding vector field. Notice right now the vectors all have the same length. If we click on variable length arrows and then graph phase plane again, we do get variable length vectors. From here, if we click on any point in the slope field, we get the corresponding solution or trajectory. So this is a nice feature that wasn't available in the last video in which we generated just the vector fields. So for number one, we have x prime equals y squared and y prime equals negative x squared. Scrolling back up, we simply enter y squared for x prime and negative x squared for y prime. If we click graph phase plane, notice how we need to make some adjustments to better match the given slope fields. First, looking at the given slope fields, I can see the x min and y min are negative two, and the x max and y max are positive two. Let's go ahead and change those settings. So the x min is negative two, the y min is negative two. We'll leave the arrows at 15 for now. X max positive two, y max positive two. Graph, so that looks better, but let's also change the density of the slope field by changing the number of arrows from 20 to 11. And again, click graph face plane. We can also change the arrow length if we want. Let's change that to 20, just to see what it does. And click graph face plane. And this looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and scroll down. Let's go ahead and show some solutions by clicking on some points on the coordinate plane. Looking at the system of differential equations, notice x prime and y prime are both zero at the origin, zero comma zero, which we can see from the phase plane does represent a critical point. So looking at our choices, we should now be able to recognize the system given by number one matches with the vector field C. And now let's move along to number two. We scroll back up and change our equations. X prime equals Y tab, Y prime equals the quantity X minus one times the quantity X plus one. Graph phase plane, scroll down. And this looks pretty good. We can actually see this matches the vector field given by A. Let's click on some points to see some trajectories. Again, analyzing the phase portrait. The phase portrait is made up of the vector field and the trajectories. We can see we have critical points at negative one comma zero and one comma zero, which is where both x prime and y prime are equal to zero. The system given by number two matches slope field A. Of course, that means that number three is going to match with the vector field B, but let's go ahead and practice graphing it. Scroll back up, enter x prime equals y plus x squared, tab y prime equals negative x, graph phase plane, scroll down. This looks pretty good. Let's show some trajectories. Once again, we can see that both x prime and y prime are zero when x is zero and y is zero, which indicates the origin of zero comma zero is a critical point. And the given slope field does match the vector field B. So this is a nice tool not only to get a feel for the vector fields that represent these autonomous systems of differential equations, but it's also nice to see the trajectories or possible solutions given initial conditions and together the slope field and the trajectories form a phase portrait. I hope you found this helpful.